Hello everybody and welcome back. We are jumping straight back into New Cycle, the post-apocalyptic city builder. We have basically emerged after society has gone and destroyed itself and we have to relearn all of society's ways as all of our knowledge was lost. This is a great little builder game. I say little, that sounds quite derogative and I do apologize. It's an amazing game. In no way is it anything small. It is currently still in early access. It's very much enjoyable and we will be following the game on this channel as it finishes its development. Now I did say at the beginning of the last episode, or first episode, that uh, I started playing this game because I saw a quick video of someone else playing on YouTube. Basically I was traveling for a long while so I ended up watching a bit of other people on YouTube to keep myself entertained. And I promised a shout out and so that shout out is for a wonderful streamer who I believe is very easy to watch and is very enjoyable called Nivarius. So if you want to check out some other strategy games and content, I very much do recommend him. And now, so back to the game. Oh, one last thing before we do start. I realized at the end of the last session, we need a camp name. Our camp name is currently called Camp Name. So for all of you out there, if you would like to name the camp, chuck it down in the comments below. Um, you don't even have to subscribe to the channel. This is no kind of weird competition or anything. Just if you want to name the camp, feel free. Chuck it down in, in the comments below and uh, we'll see what name suggestions we get. And I'll name my camp from one of the suggestions. So yeah, like I said, let us know. So anyway, let's uh, click and resume. Now we were getting to the stage, I believe we were down across on here yes we are learning about the power grid so we will eventually get more power the other thing we don't have yet will be the tavern we could also do with a stockpile this oh no wait sorry we got grabbed a stockpile didn't we it's by here it does give me a much higher storage limit total storage is eighteen thousand. that's plenty have a quick look at our resources whilst we wait for the research to go logs are doing just fine. I mean, consumption. I oh, know consumption. I suppose will actually be from my lumber mills, won't it? Very nice. Very nice. We have cut those down a bit. That's all good. Stone consumption. I assume is just for me building things. I don't think I use stone for anything. Iron ore is going up nicely. Mushrooms are going up nicely. Meat is slowly starting to increase, as is leather. Water is looking very nice. Simple meals are going very nicely as well. Lumber, iron ignots, and basic tools. That is everything we have so far. In the next age, we'll be looking to get clothes. And if we can clothe these guys, even without we have a bonus 20 to morale, we should be able to keep them in regular morale. Because this is going to drop down to 27. So we are actually going to be a fair bit lower than what we need to get this boost. Because that efficiency boost, ladies and gentlemen, if you're playing this game yourself, don't worry about... I mean, don't go crazy so you massively drop down on these things. But do not worry about pushing these up a little bit and being close to your limit. Because that increase in efficiency boosts everything so much that it's very much worth it. Because not only does it boost the things that you then end up consuming, it also boosts the things that you don't directly consume for instance we're not getting much higher lumber production much higher i suppose tools we do consume um meat production etc for the same amount of workers because as you can see my biggest problem is i don't have any workers why did i suddenly get oh refreshment plus 40 to morale oh interesting what's this storm ah there's a storm luckily we don't have any offshore fishermen so there you go, morale just exploded. And so efficiency has just jumped up again, which is going to be amazing. As I said, that's massively going to help. Now, so the next thing we are able to build is some windmills. We've got okay power, but one other thing I want to do is... Where are we? Residences. I'm going to build another shack simply because... Uh, let's tab that off so we can actually get it nicely in the gap. Let's spin it round so the entrances face the right way. I'm going to build another shack because I am at my population limit. And I just hope I can get another shack in there. And I'm wondering if 
I build another shack, whether it's then going to maybe give me some more kids or get some more immigration to happen, some more wandering nomads to come and join. It's just not quite straight, and that really, really irks me. Um, if I put it close enough, maybe I won't notice. Because I am... I run out of workers, and I actually have some open spots in some of my production buildings. So that is my biggest thing at the moment. Plus, I need to get 50 workers to be able to get to the next age. I also do need a lot more knowledge, which is... be faster if I have more people. So then, utilities, windmill... Now I believe... Ah, yes, we have... Just like everything else, we do have windy areas. Uh, is there... Oh, we have a windy area over here. Although, apparently, not really. Oh, if only I could build them offshore, that would be an amazing spot. Ooh! But... We're two off the top, I don't quite realise. Oh, we can get... One off the top. How about if we build it over here? Yeah, not as good. I'm going to build them... I'm going to build some shoreline wind farms. And that was because of... Okay. Don't have me... Oh, wait. Whoops. I... Mill... We'll get in maximum production. Beautiful. Right, so that'll do for those. We'll get those built, and they should give me, hopefully, a very nice boost my electricity. Which, I'm building that up ready because I'm also going to build a tavern once we get it researched. Greetings, Chief. We are representatives of a small community. Our expeditions led us to your settlement, and we were delighted to see such an advanced community here. Ah, oh, thanks. We would like to barter with you and turn this acquaintance into a trade partnership. In these challenging times, every link between those who have goods to spare is a boom. What do you say? The other party will send a trade representative. Okay. Now, I don't know whether these require to be linked by a road. I mean, it makes a bit of sense because our roads are also our electricity lines. But we'll find out. I don't particularly want to build a road anywhere that's going to block one of, well, basically the great positions that is, in essence, because, yeah, these guys are amazing, quite frankly. Okay, we are going to, yeah, we're back onto subpar morale. That's just my standard without any modifiers coming in. And so, whoops, I should be researching community needs. Start that research. Let's get that tavern built. I'm assuming that will give me a nice boost. The morale or living quality? Oh, I'm not quite sure, actually. Go back to play. Ah, the storm effect. Base efficiency because of location is plus 90. That is not bad at all. They're all giving me... They're all giving me 230. That will drop a little bit when I lose the effects of the storm, but still. Just those three wind farms has made my electricity production explode. And they don't need to be linked, which is oddly amusing. Hey ho, okay, so let's just fast forward. We're kind of waiting for the next knowledge to go up. Has this, oh, we do have more children. Maybe I did crack that one by giving more... Ha I mean, kids don't take up housing spots. But I don't know, I built two more shacks and I got four more kids. Like, now I've got space, they've decided to give me more of a chance for kids to grow. I have no idea how long it takes for a child to become an adult on this game. We need better shelters. What have you got? That can protect us from unprecedented weather. Build three shacks. We will get it done. Aren't these shacks? Jax, I have three. Ooh, I need to build three more, basically. Oh, that's not a problem. I'm happy to do that. Uh, production... I mean, I kind of wish this would come up a second ago. But it's okay. Okay. 
<laughs> it's not quite straight, and like I said, that kind of bugs me. <laughs> I mean, I could, I suppose, have built on a grid system. I will build two here. And one around the back. I do quite like how they have kind of two entrances as well. So the fact that you can, you don't, they don't have one facing side. You can kind of line them up a little bit. There's going to be three new shacks. I have three days to build it. I've just lost two days. Really? Is that how long it took me to place them on this speed? That seems a lot. Um, oh, it is completed. Yes, of course. I came up a second ago. Um, let's go back to normal speed. A tavern. More cozy, rowdy social space for workers to relieve stress. Does it have an area? It does. Houses with access to entertainment services. Okay. So this does provide entertainment services. Where's that road? Do I build it... Yeah, let's go outside, because I can technically build on the other side of it as well. And yeah, let's build towards the middle. <laughs> you guys live right opposite the pub, aren't you lucky? I am going to build it completely on a road. And I'm going to go and extend that road. Because I don't want to block it off. Come on. Be nice if there was kind of some... Kind of snap thing to be able to... Yeah, see, I think I slightly blocked off the road. Let us Let's build another shack in there, I suppose, but no, I'll leave it at that. It is going to annoy me because there's now a slight gap in my road. That will be uh, connected to road network. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, the roads don't seem to kind of snap. You can do one really long road, but it seems to be quite hard to build new roads and make them snap to each other. Is a little bit annoying. Oh, whoops. That's not what I was after. Woo! A bit more road in there. Did I join it? Yeah, I did. I overlapped some dusty roads. That's all that matters. And let's watch. Oh, we've got all these. Oh, we've got some flowers here. I can't build a house there. They've got flowers. We do now have have an up and running. We need some drinks, though. Required nine. Available zero. Resources, resources to be spent per day for 38 people. Dairy. We don't have any dairy. Well, I can't get these things yet, which is interesting. I don't know to get them here either in the next cycle. That's interesting. Entertainment is on zero. Um, just making meals. We don't have any other choice other than basic meals in the soup kitchen. That's interesting. So I've been able to build a tavern, but I don't seem to be able to get any drink or dairy. Um, I'm not... Yes. Interesting. So I've got a tavern. Tavern, but it actually has no use. 
because I can't provide what it needs. That's interesting. That is interesting. Well, let's just simply hit that bass. I'll click for results. Build three new houses. Thank you. Let's simply fast forward. Um, kind of stuck waiting. Let's go to extreme speed. Kind of stuck waiting for an event to happen, to be honest. Need either all my kids to grow up. What do we have? We're still on six. Oh, subpar morale. Oh, no. Entertainment. They're happy with their entertainment. Strange. After a long period of inactivity, slightly reduces area efficiency. Okay, my buildings are becoming inactive because... I simply don't have the people to put in them, basically. I do, however, have access to entertainment. A group of travelers appeared near our settlement. Whoops. Ah, whoops. Hang on, normal speed. Plus three workers. I will take them. A humble request. We rapidly evolved from a small camp into a proper village. People are the cornerstone of a fast-growing, stable community like ours. Their needs and their well-being should be prioritized above all else. Let's try to raise morale of the workers above a certain threshold. Understood. Above 70. Woo! Some people are demansive, aren't they? Um, I mean, I was just happy if I could get it just up by another four, basically, because then I get to regular morale. As I said, the morale does make quite a difference. And we do have the entertainment on the go. We have three more workers just turned up. That's really good. Oh, and we did have a merchant has appeared... A person we do not know is approaching. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We do have... We've... Nope, oh, you guys are You guys are all good. Wait, did you guys stop producing? Because I unclicked from stuff? I don't know. Uh, that's going up perfectly fine. But one more of you. But one in each is a. Could have been one of them, really. Take two guys in there. Pools are going up nicely. I don't think I need the extra workers in there. Especially to the fact that my iron ingot production isn't great. This is, however, exploding up, so. No, I'm going to leave it for now. I mean, iron is going up, albeit slowly. What I could do with another forge, maybe? Hmm. See what happens. We'll see what happens. I do have one spare worker. Let's uh, concentrate on this guy for a second. He has arrived. Merchant has arrived. Trade was produced on a small quantity. Product, leather, meat, and fish. Settlement storage, basic tools, barter valuation 11. That's what he's saying is that's worth 11. And so for that, I, for instance, can go and get... Got it. Uh, leather and meat, though. Don't really need it. Fish, don't really want at this point. I'm not too worried. Um, later, I'm not actually too worried about bartering what he has to offer. Now, knowledge. I need 2,200 for increase, but I do also need 50 people. Bitch, how are we doing for kids? Eight kids! Woo, we are getting some population growth nicely. Um, I think what I might do is... A gathering camp. I'm going to aim for some fish, basically. Uh, 
fish and some meat. What we need to do is... We'll wait for that to be built and then I shall join it up to the road network. Two children were born this year. Very nice. That also put me up to eight. Yeah. Gathering camp construction started. So like I said, we'll wait for that to be constructed. Join it to the road network and we shall get some people on fish. What I'm going to do is... This building was destroyed by a lightning strike and is not repairable. Two workers died. No! Damn, I got hit by lightning! Look the debris. Well, I'm going to need to rebuild that, aren't I? It was... It was a lumber mill. People's morale, if we don't maintain balance, we can do nothing but watch. We can do better. Do something to improve morale within a few days. Said, let's rebuild that lumber mill. Drops morale by 15. Morale is on 36. So... Actually, not bad at all. <laughs> Morale is doing pretty good. It is actually about to drop off, though, because that minus 15 has not taken effect. Uh, yeah, it should have been 21. Game slowed down. Go to full speed, please. Sad day for all of us. We're no strangers to death, but this is the first time we've encountered it since we settled here, and it hurts even more. Catherine Rosales died due to catastrophe. I assume that would be the lightning strike. Ugh. Come on, hitting me with a lightning strike. How am I supposed to do something about that? No dangerous weather events observed. Hmm. And it last four days. Let's go back to fast forwarding. Get some things built. Ah, oh, painful, I tell you. The two guys in there. Poor, poor workers. Because I didn't even need to rebuild it. I mean, I've got space for two people in there. Gotta start gathering some fish. Again, you don't seem to actually need to be on a road. It's fantastic. Where's my fish at the top? My fish don't appear at the top. That's strange. Definitely do have some fish. Why is it being special? Oh. And then we have the full resource panel. Which still doesn't have fish on it. Are very strange. Fish just don't turn up. Meat do. Mushrooms do. They're very interesting. Anyway, let's uh, keep things fast forwarding. We have 39 workers. We need 50. Two people died due to the catastrophe. Instructions completed on both of those. 
Alright, let's keep moving forward then. Okay, I believe we have enough knowledge now to get to the next cycle. We just need 11 more people. How are we doing? We've got 8 kids. Unfortunately, it does leave us a little bit short. We are about to hit winter. Mushrooms gathering halted farms cannot produce 20 health. So. Pick uh, three off there. Put three of you on there. Pick three off there, and let's simply get you building some of those. All right, all right, all right. And let's speed ourselves through winter. Uh, morale, yep, yeah, has gone back up to 36. So that's okay. Health has taken a bit of a dip because of the season. Okay. Workforce conditions is something I don't know how I can control. But, uh... Everything's doing pretty well, everything is increasing, everything is going up. Um, nobody in here? Yeah, fair enough. We are basically waiting for 50 people. I don't know if there's any way I can improve that, basically. Maintenance Cemetery Rainfall. Yeah, I don't think I can... Regions... Natural, natural, established. Again, we need something for our camp name, for those of you watching, so we can stop simply calling it... Camp Name. Some of this year's highlights. Of new structures have been built, significant events. Well, there was kind of one. One people died from disease, disaster, lack of water or food. Three new people joined us from the outside. Eight births took place. Total so population increases by one this year. Children were born this year. Fourteen. Yay! Okay, folks, I'm gonna simply keep this beating along in the background. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Three guys back up there, two back on there, and what I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is I'm going to keep this speeding along in the background. Oh, we need rules. Our transition to settled life will bring it dozens of issues that need to be resolved. Rules and regulations will be needed to keep everything in order and running smoothly. We up to you to make the final decision. However, the decisions you make will shape our community one step at a time. We almost have our daily lives in order. We have secure housing, food to eat, and duties to fulfill. We've come to believe that we're now entitled to some freedoms. Oh, have you now? We'll continue to comply with our assigned work schedules and perform our duties. However, anyone who doesn't want to get up in the morning and go to work should be able to buy some extra rest by selling his share of food or some other supply. Barter among ourselves. Surely you can give us this much. Plus eight morale to all classes. Minus five workforce. Or simply keep it normal. Hmm. Plus eight morale doesn't really give me any more efficiency. I'm gonna say no for now. And I think I, if I remember, morale's at an all-time high. Actions. Minus thirteen to morale plus thirty work for workforce minus forty-five workforce plus twenty health. The probability of dying from severe illness and exhaustion has decreased. Okay. Nice if our... The potential third one we just had was popping up, but that's alright. Okay, and as I was saying, I am going... to end the episode there. Oh, wow. 
And I'm simply going to fast forward things because we're kind of just waiting around to get to the 50 population limit so that we can move on to the next cycle and continue building. Until then, things are unfortunately a little bit stagnant. So I'm going to end the episode here. And when we come back for the next episode, we will have probably jumped forward a little bit so we can continue playing with the next cycle with a few more adults and a few more people in our workforce. So until then, thank you all very much for joining me. I hope you have enjoyed the episode, and I hope you will come back to continue watching more. So until next time, as for always, stay safe, stay happy, and stay healthy.